Hello, I'm Barney Hawkins, Investment Director at True Potential. Welcome to Morning Markets. The US hit a new intraday high yesterday, with the S&P 500 climbing 0.2% to close within a whisker of the 3,400 mark. The S&P is dominated by a handful of large tech companies, with five stocks making up over a quarter of the index. Among them, Amazon, which was up 4% yesterday, and Apple, which became the first US company to be valued at over $2 trillion. Apple has doubled in value over the last two years and is up over 50% this year alone. The company has been a clear winner of the COVID crisis, which has seen more of us working from home using Apple products, iPhones and iPads and large screen computers to do so. But the move to the streaming of music and videos has increased recurring income coming into the company and is refocusing Apple away from its historic reliance on device sales uh, and making it less dependent on sales of the next iPhone launch. Although the US hit a new high around midday yesterday, it drift, drifted off in afternoon trading and closed down nearly half a percent on a day. Now, why is that? Well, details of the Federal, Federal Reserve Board's July meeting were released and the minutes pointed to a challenging outlook for the US economy, suggesting that the central bank may need to ease monetary policy further. Although the tech sector is benefiting from the COVID outbreak, the virus continues to make life difficult for other parts of the economy and the recovery picture remains mixed. The Fed reiterated its pledge to keep monetary policy extremely accommodative, but it left the key interest rate, the Fed funds rate, unchanged at 0 to 0.25%. Elsewhere in the US, uh, attention is turning to the presidential election and increasingly to what a Joe Biden Kamala Harris administration would mean for the US economy in the event that Donald Trump isn't re-elected in November. Overnight, markets in the Far East and China were undermined by the Fed's cautious outlook and by the ratcheting up of tension in relations between the US and China, which is likely to impact most heavily on the tech and telecommunications sectors. Here in the UK, Brexit talks continue today with the focus on trucking and transport. The talks look likely to generate more heat than light and despite the headlines don't appear to be having much impact on the market. Expectations are for some sort of agreement to be reached at the 11th hour, with the fine details being hammered out early in the new year. Today sees the release of the CBI's Industrial Trends Survey, which will provide a useful indicator of business sentiment in the UK, and more importantly, how it views the immediate outlook as the economy continues to recover from lockdown. As I speak, the FTSE 100 is off about 1%, but still above the 6,000 mark and firmly within its recent trading range. Have a good day.